Is this rolling right now? Oh, it is, yes. I'm really bad at answering these kinds of questions. <laughs> right. No. Okay, we're good. You're, you're actually recording. That's my bad. It's just the yeah, Rogers and Hammerstein over there, and I'm picturing to oh, <laughs> just go for it. Yeah. This is my worst pillow. I'm not convinced that my head isn't cut off, dude. What do you want it to be? It's like, what a, what a chewy design that is. Right, there we go. That's, that's much better. <laughs> I love everything about this. <laughs> With the introspection that we've had over the last few months and with the direction and the calling that God has placed on our church, I, I feel this newness and this energy in, in our church. We're hiring a new teaching pastor, just what our church is going to look like. Rebuilding, retooling, equipping, and preparing us for this future season. I feel like as a church, we have this opportunity to model what it means to actually have healthy dialogue have healthy conversations, to do so with respect and learning and understanding and humility. I think God's really moving in our small groups at church. Um, my wife Kimberly and I are both involved in leading a small group and just to see how we're doing life together on a weekly basis in small groups. What is God doing at the heart? I believe that God is um, shifting the foundation of our, of our church and uh, with all the transition that the church has gone through I believe the Lord is getting ready to do something great. It is being so convinced of God's presence with us. And I've seen him show up so often over the last few months in one-on-one -on -one conversations, in big meetings that we've had. I've been anxious about some Sunday mornings and God just shows up in powerful ways and leads and guides all of that. And it's just this sense again of, yeah, God's presence with us is enough. I felt loved when I came to the heart. Um, eight years ago, living in, in, in the mountains. The church loves the community well, that the church wants to do whatever it can do to be able to be the voice uh, in, in the community. Um, to listen to voices at the margins, to listen to voices that maybe haven't been heard before. And I think we're gonna actually create practical spaces for doing that, whether that's in our small groups, um, at separate gatherings that we have on Sunday mornings, we're gonna really try to model how to do that well. All working together to focus on how can we be a voice of love in the high country and around the world. And that voice of love, and I believe that is the one of the things that Jesus Christ did uh, in all of his life in the ministry. But at the end of the day, if God's for us, who can be against us? So let's pay attention to his presence with us and recognize that he's here. As followers of Christ, that's what we get to do. That's what we need to model. So I'm pretty excited about the practical ways that we're going to lean into that and, and do that together as a church family. And that is it excites me to be part of. And I believe that's what God is doing, is getting ready to even build the foundation of the church even deeper. And I believe that's the core of the heart in the high country. And I'm so excited to see, to see that continue on even, and that continue to go deeper in within the transition that the heart has gone, is going through. And, and I'm really excited about where that newness and that energy is gonna go in, in spreading his gospel and, and loving people, particularly loving folks who've been hurt by the church and they're wrestling with their faith. grateful and honored to be part of what God is doing through the heart. That, yeah, that's